Okay, here we have a Ford Taurus. I'll show you how to hook up properly to this vehicle. Okay, we're looking at the front of the vehicle. We'll go to the right front underneath. You'll notice the A-frame here. If you put your J-hook through here, it could puncture this rubber boot right here. You don't want to hook up there. Instead, in the, in the frame, they have these slots that are made for towing. You can put your RJT cluster hooks in here. I call it it's, I call it a finger hook. Put your finger hook in these slots. Here's one on the other side that's identical to the other one. Okay, I'll hook my finger hook in here just to show you. on the second one here. And there it's connected to my V-bridle. It's not hitting anything. It's clear. There's no way you can damage anything. And then just hook your cable into this, this, this ring and you're set. Don't put your J-hook in here. Okay, now we're going to the rear of the vehicle. I'll show you how to secure this vehicle properly in the rear. We have these brackets that have slots in them for, again, your finger hooks or T-hooks. One on the other side. And there's some, some holes in the frame. You don't want to put your hooks in here at all, your cluster hooks. The, the metal's real thin. It'll bend. Up front further, here's a hole that's a little bit more secure. It's uh, reinforced here. You can see the seam. It's got additional sheet metal. It's, it's thicker, and you can use that. Don't put anything around these lower control arms for securing the load. The, these lower control arms are thin, and they'll bend. Okay, I'll go back to the front of the vehicle here and go back to the a arms underneath. Here you'll notice some holes in the bottom of the A frame. These are really strong. You can use your finger hooks in here. If there's nothing in the available in the uh, no slots available in the frame, you can use these small holes in the bottom of the A frame. I put my finger hooks through here. Now you, you don't want to put your J hooks of course here because it will hit this boot. The boot will crack, the grease will leak out. You'll notice grease on your J-hooks. and It's very expensive to replace these boots. Um, you have to pull the whole wheel off to get to the boot. Anyways, we'll go to the next vehicle here. Okay, I have a Pontiac Grand Am with uh, RJ cl cluster hooks or the finger hooks connected to the slots on the underside of the frame in the front using a V bridle. And on the back I have axle straps going through the lower control arms or trailing arms. They're not the control arms that are go going sideways. They're the ones that are going from the wheel forward. The ones that are going sideways are unsafe. They'll bend. They'll break. 